How can you multiply numbers by drawing lines? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, welcome to Team Laika, where we try to help you prepare better for your next exam. And today, as promised, I'm going to teach you another way of multiplying numbers. Now, quick disclaimer lang, I'm not saying that this is the best way to multiply numbers. I'm not saying it's the fastest way, depending on sa inyo. But because I've seen a lot of uh, people struggle with multiplying numbers, two-digit numbers at that, I started this parang series offering different ways on how you can solve problems like that. We covered Vedic math a few weeks ago, so if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll just link it right here. But today, we're going to talk about lines. Let's try with this problem. 21 times 33. Now, the first step here is to draw 21. And we use lines to represent 21. So first, we have this. For 10, another 10. Two lines sa direction na ito, kasi ito yung 20. And then one line dito sa baba to represent 1. 21. Okay? Tapos we have 33. Na i-represent din ng lines. It's important that we start right here sa taas. For the 3, dito sa corner na ito. So 1, 2, and 3. And then dito naman sa right side na ito. Meron din tayong three lines to represent yung three sa 33. Now, the next part is to count the intersections. Sa first corner, which is right here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six intersections. This right here represents yung first number dun sa ating answer. Now, the next part is going to be this. Itong part na to plus itong part na ito. The middle part. So here you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 plus 1, 2, 3. So 6 plus 3 is 9. That is going to be the second digit ng number natin. Now, the third part would be right here. 1, 2, 3 intersections. So, the last digit would be 3. 693 ang ating final answer. Now, to check, 21 times 33 using yung long method natin. 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. And if you add this, 6, 9, 3. Tama tayo dyan. Now, this is actually a simple problem when it comes to this technique. Let's try something a little more complicated. Paano kung may lumalampas ng 10? Let's raise the bar higher by using bigger numbers. 44 times 32. Same naman yung idea. For 44, we're going to draw 4 lines. 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is 40. Another 4 lines sa baba. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Four. Next, we're going to draw 32 represented by 1, 2, 3 lines here, side na to, and 2 lines here. 1, 2. Now we count. This section right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Two digits. Now, para less confusion, we can write a grid like this. Parang tic-tac-toe lang. Just to represent kung saan mo ilalagay yung mga digits na yan. Yung first natin nakuha is 12. Now, yung 2 na yon should be aligned dun sa unang digit ng no ating final answer. Remember how dun natin ilalagay yung 6 kanina? So, dyan yung 2, dito natin ilalagay yung 1. Next, we're going to count yung intersection sa middle part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, we have 8 plus 12 or 20. 2, 0. Now, remember how kanina yung sagot nilagay natin sa second digit? Ibig sabihin nun, yung dulo nung sagot natin, which is 0, dito natin lalagay. And then yung 2, dun sa 20, dito natin siya itatapat. I know it's a little bit more complicated, but this is how it works. Now, dun na tayo sa susunod na number or sa side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
this is going to be the last digit. Now, dahil 8 lang siya, no problem, dito mo na siya ilalagay. And now, we're going to just solve it vertically. So, you have 1, 2 plus 2 is 4, 0, 8. The answer is 1,408. Kung gagamit tayo ng calculator, 44 times 32 is 1,408. It's the same. Now, it's your turn. How do you solve this? Alright, let's solve it together, okay? We have 32 times 41, so ibig sabihin nun, we're going to draw three lines pataas. 1, 2, 3 for 30, and then two lines dito sa baba. 1, 2, for 2. Next, we're going to draw 41, so four lines here, and one line here. Now, we're going to start counting. We have 12, so same lang dun sa kanina. Meron tayong grid, we write 12 here. Sa middle naman, 1, 2, 3, and then here we have 8, so that would be 8 plus 3 or 11, 1 here, and yung 1 right here, 11. Next, dulo, 2, put right here, 2, the answer is 1, 3, 1, 2, 1,312. To check, we have 32 times 41, 1,312. And again, this video is not designed for you to force yourself to learn something new or to say that one way is better than the other. Lalo na sa konteksto ng pag exam doon tayo sa kung saan tayo mas mabilis. Pwede nyo i-practice ito if this is a good fit for you. But kahit na hindi, this is another good conversation to have. You see how creativity and math, they actually kind of work together. And nakikita rin natin that there are multiple ways of solving problems. Hindi ba parang masaya rin matuto ng bago? Now, yan muna for now. If you're interested to get any of the products that I have, if you're taking an exam and you want uh, resources on math, language, logic for tests, you can order these uh, m.me slash team like uh, um, so you can have your own copy. Okay? Sa mga bubili lang, maraming salamat sa inyo. Sa mga hindi pa, that's perfectly fine. Again, this is uh, another way for you to support this channel and to make sure that I can keep creating all of these free content for everyone else. So, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. I appreciate all of you, all of our channel members, all of our channel supporters. Maraming salamat din sa inyo. At sa inyo na nag-share ng mga videos na ito to help even more people. Thank you so much. As we always see sa channel na ito, never stop learning. Adja-adja. Kaya niyan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.